Today, I'm proud to announce another historic step to protect your Second Amendment rights. And I didn't tell Chris and Wayne and Oliver. I didn't even tell them about it. So they're listening in this big room someplace in a second. I wonder what he's going to do. The good thing with me, you never know. <laughs> never know. That's why we're making trade deals that are so good for our country. So in the last administration, President Obama signed the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty. And in his waning days in office, he sent the treaty to the Senate to begin the ratification process. This treaty threatened your subjugate and you know exactly what's going on here, your rights and your constitutional and international rules and restrictions and regulations. Under my administration, we will never surrender American sovereignty to anyone. We will never allow foreign bureaucrats to trample on your Second Amendment freedom. And that is why my administration will never ratify the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty. I hope you're happy. I'm impressed. I didn't think too many of you would really know what it is. You know what it is? A big, a big factor. But I see a couple of very happy faces from the NRA over there. And I am officially announcing today that the United States will be revoking the effect of America's signature from this badly misguided treatment. We're taking our signature back. The United Nations will soon receive a formal notice that America is rejecting this treaty. As part of this decision, I will sign right now in front of a lot of witnesses, a lot, to a lot of witnesses, a message asking the Senate to discontinue the treaty ratification process and to return the now rejected treaty right back to me in the Oval Office where I will dispose of it. <laughs> By taking these actions, we are reaffirming that American liberty is sacred and that American citizens live by American laws, not the laws of foreign countries. Thank you.